How do you do that? I just did it. That's not fair. What's not fair? Jacob just did this. Wow, you really know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? It's not that hard, but I took for so long. That's quite impressive. It's not fair, I want to do it too. I want, want, want what someone else has got. Their brains, their skills, all the things that I have not. That's what I want, want, want. Am I asking for a lot? I just want more than what I got. Have you ever looked at other people's gifts and wished you had them too? It's pretty common to want what we don't have, but is that right? Let's think about that while drawing something. Pentecost Sunday. Treasuring your gifts. We all have different gifts. Whether we're good at singing, or dancing, or sports, or anything else you can think of. While God has given us all these gifts, there are certain special gifts given specifically by the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge are just a few examples. No one has every single gift. We all have our own unique ones. And instead of looking at other people's gifts with envy, we should treasure the special gifts that God has given us so generously and use them to glorify His name. Wasn't that great? Now let's see what Nicodemus, Natalia, and Jacob have to say about their gifts and talents. Just practice, Natalia. Eventually, you'll learn. But he didn't really need to practice. I'm sure he did. Right, Jacob? No, not really. Well, we all have different gifts. You're better at me and drawing. That's true. God gave us all different gifts. This week, we're celebrating Pentecost, which is when we remember the day that the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples and gave them gifts. We've heard about the fruit of the Holy Spirit, but there are gifts of the Holy Spirit as well. What are they? Well, let's learn from a saint who was given great gifts by the Holy Spirit, but always stayed humble and used those gifts to glorify God. St. Padre Pio was an extremely gifted priest. Those close to him attested to his healing by location, levitation, and the ability to read hearts. Although he was often in pain, he offered to God every blessing and suffering he encountered. God enabled him to appear to people in need so that he could help them. People flocked to Padre Pio for confession because of his good advice. Once, Pope St. John Paul II asked Padre Pio to pray for a mother of four. She was seriously ill and was worried for her children. Padre Pio's intercession helped her to recover. He remained humble through all the miracles God performed to him. I'm glad God made me a good drawer. Natalia, your drawer is good at drawing. Oh, thank God for giving us gifts. You guys can go and play. I'm going to see if I have the gift. So I should want, want, want to be grateful every day. The gifts that I don't have are no reason for dismay. And so I won't, won't, won't be envious anymore. The gifts that I've been given are plenty to be grateful for. That's right. We all were given our own unique gifts when we were created by God. None of us have every single gift, but there's beauty in coming together with others so we can share our gifts and give glory to God. Hope you enjoyed that adventure. See you next week. Let his love complete you. Oh, nothing can defeat you if you the love of God. The love of God. The love of God. Hey, love. Let the love of God. Love of God. Live, love, live the love of God.